What's up? Welcome back to another episode. This is episode number 25. It's my 365 day challenge and it's a video podcast. So right now it's 37 degrees. It's a little nippy, but um, today I wanted to talk about persistence and I'm going to tie that into a whole bunch of things. But the cool thing is, is that yesterday's video, I was completely out of momentum. I was completely out of my element. I, I'm sure you could tell, like, I couldn't even think of what to say. It was the craziest thing. And the reason is, is because the night before I was out really late, um, trying to do some of my stuff with my passion. And, uh, I got back late. I went to sleep late. I didn't even wake up and do my workout. So I wasn't even really awake yet fully. And it definitely showed in my video. But one of the things that I want to talk about that goes along with that is the fact that I was out of momentum, right? Basically, I broke my pattern and I got out of momentum. And one of the things that I personally want to learn is that I want to start to break my momentum and do that more often so that I can get better at getting right back into momentum. It's kind of like exercising a muscle, right? Because you're going to get out of momentum. I mean, there's no doubt you're going to break patterns and it's not really your fault, but you could just get mad and quit or you could just figure out how to get right back on your path and keep on pushing forward. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Exercising that muscle for when you get pulled out of your little cycle, you get to push back into it and just continue right on your journey. So today I woke back up at 4 a.m. I got right back into my thing and I can tell you right now it was definitely not the same as it was two days ago whenever I was coming off of that video and and I was coming off of that momentum. But like I said, I'm exercising that muscle. So I want to talk about something too. Yesterday we were out working and um basically this gentleman came up we were kind of parked a little bit in his yard but we were working on the road striping some stop bars for people to stop for stop signs and this guy walked out like right when we were packing up to leave and he's like hey he's like would you guys be interested in a hot chocolate and he was an older gentleman very nice fella and he he said that and I said man I said that that sounds really cool because it was it was kind of chilly yesterday and uh, I said that sounds really cool but I'm on a diet and I don't really drink anything but water right now. And he said, man, he said, I know all about that. He says, every time I go on a diet, I'll eat good for two days and then boom, I'm right back to where I was before I started. And and a flag went up in my head because, you know, a lot of people do that. But here's what I told them. I said, I said, you know, I said, I can totally relate to where you're at right now. I said, but when you get in your car and you're going somewhere, right? And you, what do you, you don't just steer a couple times and expect to be there. I mean, you have to like take lots of steering. You have to steer yourself all the way there. And the, the point that I was making was the fact that just get back and steer yourself back in the right direction and keep pushing forward. It's just like what I was just talking about this momentum thing. You know, I want to practice getting out of momentum so I can shoot back into it and be right where I left off. And I thought that was really cool because he looked at me kind of funny. And then he, you know, said, well, well, I'm, he said, well, if you guys, if I'd have been, came out here when you first got here, I definitely would have offered you a hot chocolate. I said, well, we definitely appreciate the thought, sir. And then that was the end of it. But that's a big deal because how many times have you actually started something and gotten off track and then just quit because things get in your way so there's this thing that i'm learning right now with tony robbins and it's called the rpm method and it's uh it's rapid something i don't know i don't know all the details of it but here's basically what happens you basically create a result that you want to have you think of the result And then you have to create a purpose on why you want that result. And then you take massive action. So I'm like 16 days into my 
30 day alkaline energy challenge, right? And the reason that I was able to continue on that and not fall off, and I really have not fallen off on that at all. I mean, I've been steady with it. The reason why I haven't been is because I got a result. I got to get my body in shape in order for me to be able to have the energy to do more in my life, okay? And that's that more in my life includes creating more. It includes, um, you know, being more loving to my family, being more loving to my wife, uh, doing more around the house for her. And it also, you know, it includes feeling good, but, but being able to do those couple things right there is going to increase my, the happiness in my life right there. I mean, cause I remember, you know, a couple months ago, just at work, just slut being walking around sluggish, can't bend over, can't get down, can't do nothing because my, my guts in the way, you know? So the result that I want is to have a fit body a fit body. I don't really have a set number of weight that I want. I just want to have a fit body. I don't want to like be all jacked up and be a bodybuilder or anything. But what I want to do is I want to be able to do, you know, push ups and move my body around and pull ups and actually have a fit body. Okay. And then that way I can do more with my life, the content creation, the, the loving part and, you know, play with my kids more, be more, you know, fun with them. And so that's the result. The purpose the why, why is the, what is the purpose? Why, why do I want to do that? For that reason, I want, I have to be able to do all those things. And it's not like I have to do them. It's that I get to do them. Like I get to choose this, right? If you can take yourself out of, I have to do something and reposition it in your mind so that you get to do it. You get to do this stuff. Oh man, it's a whole different, it's a whole different thing. It's like awesome, right? So, and then the third step in it, you know, you got the result, you got the purpose. And the third thing is massive action. Just start taking action on it. And I'm starting to try this pattern. And this is another muscle that I'm flexing because that right there, if you start out doing that and start out with something small and just keep doing it and keep reaffirming it and keep getting confidence in it. And it takes a little bit more time in the beginning because, you know, it's something that you've never done before, but you start building that up right there, then you can, you can accomplish so much more in your life. So that's really cool stuff going on right now. I know that I broke that pattern the other, you know, yesterday and I know that, and I can see that like, especially with how aware that I am. I mean, I'm so aware of things and I'm, I'm getting better every day, but I was basically the day before I broke out into something you know, it was raining and my oldest was at his grandparents and I had an opportunity to get out into the woods, even though it was raining and it was not ideal conditions. But again, I'm busting out with this new stuff that I'm trying like videos and, and I'm definitely going to keep pushing on that. Whenever I was on my way there, I started doing little takes and filming stuff going out to the woods and then in the woods and then you know, on the way to where I was going to sit at and then in where I was and I had a couple different cameras set up and, you know, I had little issues pop up. One of the batteries went low and then it came back. It was kind of weird, but you know, it's all learning. It's all doing stuff. And then, you know, so I'm starting to create this stuff and it's something I've never done before, but it's where I want to be. It's where I want to go. And I feel more confident, you know, right now with this, I mean, I lost 14 pounds in 14 days. Okay. I was wondering when it was going to stop. It definitely stopped. You know, I don't know if yesterday me not working out or whatever broke that momentum, but I definitely been losing a pound a day. Excuse me. But, um, yesterday or today, whenever I weighed, I really didn't lose a pound. So I'm, I knew it was going to level out eventually and that's okay. That doesn't, that doesn't hurt my confidence. I know if I keep doing this, like my, I feel skinnier right now. My pants, when I put them on, they're loose. In 14 days, they're loose. Like, this is crazy, right? But it's just momentum stuff that you just got to keep doing. You got to keep steering. You got to keep that result in your mind where you're going to go. You got to keep steering. You got to keep the purpose and why you want to do it and taking massive action. That's all for today's video. I know it kind of jumped around everywhere, but there was a lot of really good points there. I hope you got value. I appreciate you tuning in, and I will see you on the next video.